I was looking at Facebook earlier and I saw an ad for a seat cushion. It looks like a good seat cushion. It's made for your car or your computer chair and it's supposed to be good for the tailbone area. I said it looks nice, but it won't accommodate the monumental tank butts they got around here. These monster asses all over the place. Ain't no, it ain't even close. You got some butts that require a sofa to sit in. No, it's not going to accommodate the butts around here. Uh uh. I heard George Carlin talking about this years ago. Lord save me from the giant asses in the defending of giant butts. In the, the obsession with giant butts. It used to be somebody like that in the gym. They'd have a giant t-shirt on, like, and it's it's not tucked in. It's covering up their butt. They were, like, kind of trying to not reveal it. And now they're proud of it. Now they got yoga pants big enough to fit the Hindenburg. And they, it's all tucked up their crack, too, in public, like they're proud of it. They're walking around, and they're striding. They're using the weight of their cheeks to control their their stride. You can see it. You can see that they're using that, like for balance as they walk. Lord help me. Well, you can't be in public with blindfold and feel your way around. All that, it's like they're proud of it. I don't know, don't be doing that. Why don't people wear the moo-moo in public? You remember the big moo-moo? Looked like a big gown. Oh, hell, go a step further. Wear a shower curtain in public. Please do it. Do it. I was watching some kind of video or something, and a guy saw a lady in the video. I, I forgot what it was, and he goes, that lady had a flat butt. She got a flat butt. I bet they were all flat butts in the past, like attacking it. And I got all bowed up like a rooster about it, defending it. Look, I'll defend the flat butt over that tank butt any day. I will take a flat butt over an ass that requires two different zip codes any day. These asses could be in two different time zones at once. They're so big. I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't want to see it. I don't want nothing to do with it or promoting it or defending it or anything. And the people think I'm ugly. Look at what you're defending. Look at what you're really defending. Look at it. Look at it. No, don't live in denial. Look at what you're defending. It's not good. Yeah, I'll defend the flat asses. Yeah. You look at the toilets and stuff, and you see somebody like that in public, and you go, how do, how do you sit in the, what do they do in the bathroom? Oh, it's crossed people's minds. Yeah, it is. It does. I, I'll develop a toilet system. There you go. It could have suction cups, one for each cheek, a suction cup. Depending on big, uh, how big your ass is, it comes with different size suction cups. And it's a rope and pulley system. So you attach it to your cheeks and you pull the ropes as you sit down and expose the area that you need to, to do your business. Yeah. It's either that or a fishing gaff per cheek, but that would hurt. But you could have a gaff with a suction cup on the end. Do that. Look, how else are you going to expose? These people couldn't find their butthole with 3D seismograph. You got to have some way to do that. Hey. Yeah, I'll defend the flat asses any day. Any day. You have to see, and people proud, how can you be proud of that? Why would somebody want a butt that looks like a 20-year-old mattress with all the lumps and giant sizes in it? Like, my God, look at that ass. It's shaped like North Dakota in the winter. And they got, they like it. Lord help me. Lord save me from these giant monumental asses and the people defending them. Save me from those people. I saw I saw a seat cushion ad and, it, and that's what it did to me. Yeah, now I don't want to eat until Christmas. Yeah, thanks.